Jocelyn Velasquez, Grade 6 teacher of Bayamon Central School. Today, we are going to study about the different kinds of forces and how it affects the movements of different objects. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to infer how gravity and friction affects the movements of different objects. What do you see in the picture? Very good! This is the picture of our planet Earth. The planet where living things and non-living things dwell. Have you tried going down on a slide? Whether it be on a pool or playground, you may have observed that the steeper the slide, the faster it falls downwards. Anything that goes up ultimately goes down. Things do not fly on the Earth's surface. This is because Earth is exerting a strong attractive force on you and the things around you. This force is called gravity. A vehicle climbing up a hill road exerts more engine force to climb the hill because the gravity downhill is pulling it down. How useful gravity is in our daily lives. Without gravity, everything around us will fly and will not stay on its places. When you throw the ball up, you apply force. You push the ball very hard so that it can go a higher distance. What pulls the ball to the ground is gravity. It is a non-contact force that pulls everything towards the center of the Earth. It is the very reason why everything on Earth, including us, are intact towards the center of the Earth. I am holding a bottle of water. I am preventing it from falling using a force called friction. It acts between my fingers and the bottle. The force of gravity pulls the bottle downward. However, friction acts in the opposite direction to keep the bottle from falling as I hold onto it. As long as you press your fingers around the bottle tightly in a grip, friction will keep it in your hand. But if you loosen your grip, Friction will lessen and gravity might cause the bottle to fall. Friction, unlike gravity, is a force between two bodies which are in contact with each other. It causes the object that moves along the surface to slow down and eventually stop. There are different kinds of friction. Rolling friction is one. When an object rolls over a surface, rolling friction is produced. Another type of friction is fluid friction. It is a friction between a moving object and a liquid or a moving object in the air. Fluid friction occurs in a swimmer swimming in water or a boat traveling in water or an airplane traveling in the air. Another type of friction is the sliding friction. It occurs when two objects slide or rub against each other. It acts in the direction opposite the direction of motion. Another type of friction is static friction. It occurs in stationary objects or object at rest. It is a kind of friction that prevents an object from moving against a surface. What are the desirable and undesirable effects of friction in our daily lives? Friction helps people convert one form of motion into another. You move forward because there is a friction between the surface of your shoes and the ground. Without friction, you will not be able to stand up. You will slip or fall. A cyclist uses friction to move forward. The friction between his shoes and the pedal and between the chain and the gears is needed to move the bike. Some of the 
undesirable effects of friction is that friction makes objects difficult to move continuously. It converts some energy into heat, noise, and causes wear and tear of materials. Let us have a comprehension check up of our lesson. Complete the sentence shown in the slide. What kind of friction is shown in the picture? Very good! Our next picture Very good! Our next picture Very good! Next we have Very good! That's all our lesson. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. Thank you and keep safe everyone. Stay healthy. Bye!